know your hair type? No, not that one. Your real hair type. You know, the one that covers all the bases and gives you real insight on how to take care of your hair? It's not a secret that I'm not a big fan of the current hair typing system. I appreciate it because back when the natural hair movement started, it gave us a little peek of light into understanding our natural hair. But we have advanced really quick in a short period of time, and old habits die hard. So even though deep inside we all know that this system doesn't apply to us, it's hard to move on from it because it's well known and super simple. It may make some sense around the ones, twos, and maybe some threes, but when you get to the fours, things get complicated, mainly for three reasons. We are the most genetically diverse people on earth, so we come in every color, and we have multiple hair types on our head of hair. Below is a link to a video that goes over this genetic diversity in more detail. Our curl pattern is way too complex to fit into just three groups. And our hair can be manipulated into any curl pattern, texture, and shape we want it to be in. It's really special. So I created a complete hair type chart. There's six things you need to know about your hair in order to truly understand it. After that, you'll know when your hair is happy or sad, you'll immediately know if and why something is not working, and you'll easily be able to build a really good hair regimen that works. If you watch Green Beauty videos, you've seen this chart a lot because it's important. So in the next few videos, I'm gonna break down how to test, enhance, and change each line. Let's start with the curl pattern line. Your curl pattern is like your fingerprint, so it's no surprise that it's complex. Not only do we have multiple curl patterns, it also changes. A curl pattern is created from different ionic and chemical bonds in the cortex layer of your hair strands. The more and stronger the bonds are, the more of a curl pattern you have. Some bonds are weaker than others and temporarily detach when your hair comes into contact with heat or moisture. That's why your curl pattern is looser and more consistent when your hair is wet. If you let your hair air dry on its own, the bonds will reattach to random close by positions, making your curl pattern tighter and more inconsistent. For certain curl patterns, this can mean tons of complicated tangles and breakage. That's why it's important to set some type of mold as your hair dries. It's also another reason why scooping and spreading works so well for length retention. Very little moisture is needed to break a hydrogen bond. So a small amount of moisture from the spritz gently breaks the hydrogen bonds in your hair. Just enough for you to manually help them reattach in a smoother, uniformed, and elongated way through spreading. There are other factors that go into where your unique curl pattern comes from. If you're interested, below is a link to a video that goes over those things in more detail. So overall, there are four main curl patterns. There's the eye pattern. At first glance, looks like it's just straight hair, but if you take a closer look, there are kinks or twists along the shaft. Fun fact! Relaxed and heat damaged hair are clear examples of the eye curl pattern. But did you know that there are naturals with kinky eye curl patterns? Viv Hair Therapy here on YouTube is a good example of this. She has predominantly an I and an S curl pattern. All right, great segue into the S curl pattern. If you take a closer look, the S curl pattern has repetitive stretch curves that make an S pattern. The O curl pattern are loops that curl up into itself like a slinky. The last curl pattern is the L or Z, depending on how you see it. These are sharp jagged bends, like the hair strand was crimped. Notice that all four curl patterns have kinks in them. That's why our hair is referred to as kinky curly. 
Below is a link to a video that explains why our hair has kinks. To be honest, if you look long enough, you'll probably find all four of these curl patterns in your hair. So try not to overthink this and focus on the most predominant patterns. To test your curl pattern, take two samples from multiple sections of your head. Make sure your samples are free of heavy gel-like products. Lighter products and oils are fine. Observe your curl pattern on stretched and shrunken hair. My stretch sample is a blowout that has been scooped and spread a few times, and I wet the hair strand to make my shrunken sample. I took samples from the back right and left sections, the middle, and the front right and left section. Yeah, some people actually have different curl patterns in all five of these sections. Let's take a closer look at my curl patterns. As a reminder, because of the kinks in our hair, our curl pattern is inconsistent and not the most straightforward thing to observe. In its shrunken state, the back right section of my hair has mostly an O curl pattern and some S pattern as well. But when it's stretched, it takes on more of an S curl pattern. Same with my back left section, middle section, front right, and front left sections of my hair. So overall, I have two predominant curl patterns in my hair, O and S. That's one small part of the reason why my hair benefits so much from stretching. When it's in its shrunken O curl pattern state, it tangles a lot. But when it's in a stretched S curl pattern state, it's a lot easier to avoid complicated tangles and retain length. My curl pattern is pretty consistent throughout my head, but not my texture. We'll talk about that in the next video. Here are some examples of other curl pattern combinations. Share your curl pattern below. You'll be surprised to see how diverse we all are. Also, do any of you have a predominantly L curl pattern? Your hair must look really cool. As mentioned earlier, your curl pattern can be changed. So let's go over the two only ways to change your curl pattern, either permanently or temporarily. Changing your curl pattern requires you to permanently break the stronger diphosite bonds in your hair with chemicals, heat damage, or over manipulation. It's a risk because with the structure of your hair compromised, it's in a weaker, more vulnerable state. Some examples of chemicals that can permanently change your curl pattern are relaxers, baking soda, and hair dyes. Below are videos on these three chemicals and details on how they work. A temporary change in curl pattern can be achieved with stretching, scooping and spreading, molding, and wash and goes. If done correctly, all these options keep the structure of your hair intact and help you avoid tangles and breakage. Natural hair is so flexible, it can be temporarily molded into a new curl pattern with simple hairstyles like twists and bantu knots. As long as the humidity is low, the hydrogen bonds will stay intact and a curl pattern created by simple twists can last for several days. Caring for and enhancing your curl pattern is pretty straightforward. It's not hard to keep natural hair happy. It's more about consistency based on your lifestyle, of course. As long as you keep your scalp clean, your hair strands moisturized and lubricated, avoid tension and excessive tangles, are gentle with your ends, and maintain good internal health in your gut, your hair will flourish and your curl pattern will look its best. The way you go about achieving these things in your regimen is up to you. Nothing is set in stone. Just keep in mind that as you travel right on the curl pattern line, the more fragile your hair is and should be treated with more time, patience, and care. 
It's trickier to keep an O or L curl pattern free from excessive tangles and knots compared to an I and S curl pattern. There's less room for error, but the rewards are out of this world. Hopefully now you have a better idea of what your curl pattern combination is and what it means. In the next video, we'll talk about how to know for sure if your hair texture is loose, tight, or somewhere in the middle.